What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today we're trying on some clothes from one of my favorite brands, Everlane. A couple things to note before we get into it. Number one, this is a sponsored video. A big thank you to Everlane for supporting the channel. So it's not a review, it's just a try on. So basically I just wanna show you, you know, what I would buy from Everlane's current collection. And I wanna show you how it fits and looks on me, just to help you decide if, you know, you might be interested in buying something for yourself. Number two, everything I'm wearing is unaltered and unwashed. So I would definitely get some alterations here. You know, not everything from Everlane fits me perfectly, which is the case with most brands. So I like sleeve length and stuff like that. Easy to fix at the tailor. And if you don't have a tailor you can trust, watch my video about how to find one. Number three, I'll link to everything you see in this video down below in the description. Number four, for reference, I'm about 5'6 with shoes on, 120 pounds. I usually wear a 34 inch chest, 28, 28 pants, although sometimes I'll wear 28, 30 if I want to cuff the pants. And I usually wear extra small tops. Now, uh, I'm glad that Everlane does have some smaller sizes. They do have 28 waist, some 28 inseams, extra small tops, and even some extra, extra small, which you'll see in the video. A little bit of background in case you're not familiar with Everlane. Everlane's philosophy is radical transparency. So they're really focused on ethical manufacturing and sustainability. They tell customers how much their clothes cost to make and where they're made. And they try to use high quality materials that are gonna last a while, like grade A cashmere and Peruvian Pima cotton. So this is basically the opposite of fast fashion. And I think it's really refreshing. For the quality of their clothing, the prices are very reasonable. And I really like the overall aesthetic. Everlane keeps it pretty simple, pretty minimal. And that means that everything they make works really well together. So you could pretty much buy any top, bottom, and outerwear from Everlane and it's gonna look good together. So with that background, let's get into the outfits. First up, this is my kind of outfit. Comfy, casual, chock full of neutral, earth tony colors. The waffle knit crew neck is a nice alternative to your standard cotton sweatshirt. I'm wearing Everlane's Performance chinos, which look like normal chinos. They're not super techy or swishy like some performance chinos are, but they do have enough stretch for comfort. I'm also wearing their cashmere beanie, which you'll see throughout the video. And finally, I'm loving these Tread Gum Sole sneakers in off-white. I have a feeling these are going to make their way into heavy rotation. To add a bit of warmth, here's the Renew Lightweight Puffer Jacket in Dark Forest. There are two things I like about these puffer jackets. One, the double zipper so you can let the hips out a little bit, and two, it's reversible. So for more pop, you could switch it to the non-quilted burnt orange kind of golden colored side. Now if it's really cold, a puffer might not be enough, so you need a parka. This is Everlane's short parka. It's not a slim fit coat, so you can see that it's a little bit bulky on me but it does seem like the type of jacket that would keep you warm into sub-freezing temperatures. I'm also wearing Sorel snow boots here to go with the parka, so this outfit would definitely be okay on a very wintry day. And finally, I've swapped the Waffle Knit Crew for this cashmere crew neck sweater in dark slate. I've actually had this sweater since last year, and with a slightly relaxed fit, it's very, very comfortable. All right, switching things up, I'm wearing the Everlane Performance Jeans in Skinny Fit, and this is the Dark Indigo Fade color, so it's kind of their medium wash. These are 2830, so I'll wear them cuffed or might end up getting them hemmed to a no-break length. On top, I've got an extra small Renew Fleece sweatshirt in Oatmeal under the lightweight hooded puffer in Indigo. Now this puffer is actually extra, extra small, and I think it fits really nicely. It's great to see a brand offering extra, extra small, even just in a couple of items, because uh, you really don't see that very often. Just like the non-hooded version of the puffer, this one is reversible, and it has that two-way zipper in front. 
For shoes, I'm wearing the Tread Avenue Edition in navy nubuck. And I'm actually really liking the non-quilted lighter blue side of this jacket. You see quilted puffers everywhere, so this is just a nice change of pace. I'm wearing the modern flannel shirt and navy, half unbuttoned under a crew neck t-shirt and washed stone gray. Both of these are extra small. On bottom, I've got the performance jeans and skinny fit dark indigo, and these are 28, 28, so a great length. And then I've got some trusty brown leather work boots. Here's a quick little tip. If your sleeves are just a little too long, fold back the cuff once and then reverse button the cuff to keep things in place. It's a very easy fix when you're in a time crunch or if you just don't want to pay for the alteration. For a monochromatic look, I'll wear the indigo puffer with the quilted side out, or for something a little bolder, I'll wear the other puffer jacket, the non-hooded one, with the golden side out. And this deep golden orange color looks really nice against dark navy blue. One of my favorite products from Everlane is their basic crew neck cotton t-shirt. This one is washed stone gray, size extra small, and I'm wearing it tucked into the faded indigo performance jeans with the off-white trainers. It's just a simple, casual look that could work in really any season. Of course, during winter, you're gonna need a jacket, so let's try a couple on. Again, notice how interchangeable Everlane products are. They all work together, and so this outfit, for example, works equally well with the green jacket or the golden side of that jacket or the blue jacket. And that's the benefit of building a mostly neutral wardrobe. I wanted to try on Everlane's cardigan. Uh, this one is cashmere. It's a front button v-neck cardigan, but it's a bit thicker than your typical Pima cotton or extra fine merino wool version. One easy way to wear a cardigan is over a t-shirt. Now, I prefer crew neck tees, but you could definitely go with a v-neck if you wanted to. Again, the indigo puffer jacket works well with this outfit. Also, Everlane now makes a weekend bag that I've really been enjoying. I actually took this with me over the Thanksgiving holiday weekend, and it was just enough room for a three-night, four-day stay. It's also water-resistant, which came in handy. I actually got caught in a rainstorm on the way home, and I had to walk a few blocks in the rain, and everything inside the bag was still dry when I got home. Another great way to wear the cardigan is over a button-up shirt like a blue oxford. Paired with dark wash jeans and blue chermox, this is a nice smart casual look for fall or winter. Of course, if you wanted to dress it up a little bit, you could swap the moccasins for like penny loafers. Now if cardigans aren't your thing, just go with a simple v-neck sweater instead. This gray cashmere v-neck would go with almost any shirt-pant combo you can come up with. Note, this sweater is a little big on me. The body and sleeves are a little bit long. If you have more of an average build, it would fit nicely on you. you know, keep in mind, I'm like 120 pounds soaking wet, about five, six in shoes. So for me, uh, I would probably try to shrink this sweater a little bit in the wash. Now, if you wash and dry a wool sweater with any heat, it's going to shrink up, not in. So it'll become shorter, not slimmer. This is a delicate process, but it's not impossible. So if you do have a sweater that's too big and you know you can't return it, uh, give it a shot. Try to shrink it up in the wash. Again, the puffer jacket looks nice with this outfit. And if it's really cold, you can go with something heavier like the short parka and add a hat for some extra warmth.
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got some ideas for outfits that you could put together this winter. Uh, if you haven't checked out Everlane yet, I highly recommend giving them a try. It's just a really cool brand. I love their aesthetic, love their mission, love the prices and the quality. I'll link to everything you saw down below in the description. If you have any questions for me, leave a comment below. Thank you as always for watching and until next time, stay stylish.